Hey guys, we are looking at multi-step equations with variables on both sides today. This is the same as yesterday, except we are going to add the distributive property in there. It's still kind of the same process. You are going to want to look at both sides of the equal sign and simplify both of those expressions. The way we will do this is first distribute if there are any parentheses. And then we will combine like terms like we did yesterday if there's anything to combine. After that, we will move the variables to the same side by adding or subtracting the smaller variable. And then after that, it will be a two-step equation and we will add or subtract to remove the constant and then multiply or divide to remove the coefficient. And here is a phrase that can help you remember all of the steps to solve a multi-step equation because it's kind of a lot. Don't call me after midnight. The D is for distribute. C is for combine like terms, M is for move the variables to the same side, A is for add or subtract, and then the M is for multiply or divide. So you might hear your teacher say, don't call me after midnight. That's what they are referring to, the steps to solve a multi-step equation. All right, so let's look at number one. Obviously, these sides are not simplified. Since I have parentheses, I need to distribute on both sides. So I'm going to distribute the 2, and I get 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is 2. And then 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And now I'm going to double check. 2x plus 2 is simplified. 3x minus 12 is simplified. We are good to move the variables to the same side. So my two variables are 2x and 3x. 2x is the smaller one, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I get 2 equals 3x minus 2x is x, and I bring down the negative 12. Now I need to remove this constant that is attached to x by adding 12. And I get that 14 equals x. Okay, number two, I can definitely tell that this side's not simplified because of the parentheses, same with this one. So let's simplify both sides separately first. So I'm going to distribute the five on the left side and five times x is five x and five times three is 15 and then I just bring down that plus three. And then on the right side, I'm going to distribute the three. Three times x is three x, three times negative two is negative six. Okay, this side is not simplified yet because I can combine the 15 and the three. Right side is simplified, so I'll just rewrite it. Before I can move the variables, I need to combine those. So 5x, I'm just going to bring that down. Nothing happened to it yet. 15 plus 3, I can write that more simply as 18. And then I'm just going to rewrite the other side. Okay, now this is simplified. This is a simplified expression. So let's move our variables to the same side. I have 5x and 3x. 3x is the smaller variable. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And 5x minus 3x is 2x, bring down the plus 18 equals, I'm left with negative 6 on that side. Okay, now I need to remove the constant of plus 18 that is attached to the x, and I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. And I get 2x equals negative 6 minus 18 is negative 24, divide by 2, and I get that x is negative 12. All right, let's look at number 3. I can tell that this side's not simplified because of the parentheses, same with this one. So let's start by distributing. I'm going to bring down the 6 since that's not a part of the distributing, and then I'm going to do 2 times 3x, which is 6x and then 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. And it equals 4 times 1, which is 4, and 4 times x, which is 4x. Okay, this side is still not simplified because I can combine 6 and negative 4. So let's go ahead and do that. 
6 minus 4 is 2. And then I'm going to bring down the plus 6x and it equals 4 plus 4x. This is a simplified expression, same with this one, so I can go ahead and move my variables to the same side. I have 6x and 4x. 4x is smaller, so I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And I get 2, 6x minus 4x is negative, sorry, positive 2x. And then I bring down the 4. And then I'm going to subtract 2 to remove the constant. And I get 2x equals 2 divide by 2. So I get that x equals 1. All right, number four, the left side is simplified this time. I cannot combine negative 5x and negative 10, so we're good. But on this side, I see parentheses, so I need to distribute. Remember, when you don't see a number in front of the parentheses, it's an invisible one. So we're going to be distributing an invisible negative one there. Let's first rewrite the left side. Negative 5x minus 10 equals, I'm just going to bring down the 2, and I'm distributing a negative 1. So negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. All right, this side is good, but on this one, I can combine the negative 4 and the 2. So negative 5x minus 10, I'm going to combine 2 and negative 4 to make a negative 2, and then bring down the negative 1x. Okay, now I have variables on both sides. I want to move the smaller one. The smaller one out of negative 5x and negative 1x is negative 5x. So I'm going to add 5x to both sides. And I get negative 10 equals negative 2, and negative 1 plus 5x is 4x. Now I'm going to remove the constant of negative 2 by adding 2 to both sides. And I get negative 8 equals 4x, so I'm going to divide by 4, and I get that x is negative 2. Okay, number 5, I see parentheses, so I know I need to distribute first. So 1.2 times x is 1.2x, and 1.2 times negative 2 is negative 2.4. I'm going to distribute over here. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times negative 0.5x is just negative x, because 2 times 0.5 is 1. Okay, now I have simplified expressions on both sides, so we're ready to move the variables to the same side. I have 1.2x and negative x. Negative x is smaller, so I'm going to move that by adding x. And 1.2x plus x is 2.2x. I'm going to bring down the negative 2.4 equals 2. Now I need to remove the constant that's attached to x, so I'm going to add 2.4 to both sides. And I get 2.2x equals 4.4. And then the last step is to divide by 2.2. And I get x equals 2. Okay, last one. I see parentheses on this side, so I need to distribute. And we're going to talk a way, about a way to rewrite that so that it is easier to solve. So let's start by distributing. 1 half times 3x is 1.5x. And then 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. Okay, x divided by 2, there's an invisible 1 there. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 half x. 
I changed this to a decimal, so now let's change this to a decimal of 0.5x. Okay, now I have variables on both sides. We usually move the smaller x, but if you look, x is already by itself here. So I'm gonna keep this x here and I'm gonna move this x this time. So I'm going to subtract 1.5x and move it over here. And I have negative one and 0.5 minus 1.5 is negative one x. So I did that because now I have x's on one side and I just have the constants on the other and I just have one last step, which is to divide both sides by a negative one and a negative one divided by negative one is one.